So the uh, test cases once generated in BA360, the next step is to export them into test management. tool. So as I said, uh, Effecta is our uh, homegrown test management tool. Uh, we have um, all the test management features as well as there are additional accelerators built into Effecta, which can help the automation, uh, the test engineer uh, to effectively do his or her testing. So if you see on the left hand side, um, we have all the modules related to test management. The first one is projects, so where you can create a project as an entity, and then uh, we have requirements. So in case you are not using any other test management tool, Effecta on its own has all the uh, capabilities related to test management, so we have an option to uh, capture the requirements as well here. So once the requirements are ready, then we convert them into test cases. So um, and these test cases um, can be either manual test cases or the ones which we want to automate in future. And for the ones which we want to uh, automate in the future, we have given a separate module called as test scripts. So all the automation scripts which, uh, which uh, are to be created will be created as independent entities in test scripts module. So what this does is it helps us to um, maximize the utilization of automation. So it's something like you build the script once and this script can be used multiple times and can be attached to any test case. So this is build once and use many times a scenario we are providing here for automation. Similarly, uh, a test case typically has steps and um, in the end we need to do certain validations. So uh, validations decide whether a test case uh, steps which were initially executed um, were pass or fail. So what we have done is uh, we have created a, a separate module called, called as test validation and all the validations can be configured in the test validation um, and all this is and, and this test validation is also an independent component or entity which can be attached to any test case. So a test case typically an automated test case typically in Effecta is a combination of test scripts and test validations. So test scripts are GUI based and test validations are done from the back end which can save a lot of our uh, scripting and execution time. So once we have um, these automation automation um, entities, um, then we have an option to create test sets. So uh, maybe I want to combine certain test cases into one group and create it for the better understanding and better usage. So I use test set as a module and create my uh, test sets. So once um, I'm, I'm ready with all that, the next step is to, for uh, next is to execute. So we use execution module for executing test cases, whether the test case is a manual test case or an automated test case. Then we have specialty services, which has few accelerators under it, uh, and we'll also see um, as part of our today's demo, one of the accelerator under uh, specialty services. So uh, and reports module contains all the reports related to execution and history. Um, so that in case you want to uh, look at any past results, um, you have uh, a place where you can go back and refer to. And as I said, uh, Effecta is a, a, a test management tool on its own. It also has a full blown uh, defect management uh, capability as well in the defect section or module. So these are uh, the basic uh, test management features and um, in the interest of our, uh, our, our to focus more towards what we want to showcase as part of today's um, demo uh, in this webinar, we will not get into all these details, but rather uh, we will get get into test automation directly. So let's get into test scripts and start creating an automation script. So for for today's uh, demo, we have um, selected uh, 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 sales order as a um, um, as an uh, scenario or, or as a case to um, uh, generate the script. So we are entering all the basic details related to the application, like uh, you know, uh, a script name and then a description and then what tool we want to use to automate um, and then um, uh, what uh, transaction we want to work with, 
module. So all the basic information as you fill in in any uh, test management tool, you fill in all the basic data and um, save it so that your uh, basic shell uh, called a script is created. So once the script is ready, the next step is to get into recording so that I create my automated script. So recording can be done in two ways. You can record a fresh R. You can also import uh, an existing script. So for today we will look at uh, the recording feature. So so whatever uh, script name you selected there, um, all the information related to that is pre-populated here. You can either change or go with whatever is available and then click on open recorder. So once you open, uh, click on open recorder, uh, Effecta goes into a listening mode and starts uh, trying to understand what's happening. Uh, starts happening, uh, starts understand what's happening with the uh, recording. So um, here, uh, so we are uh, now opening HP Unified Functional Tester. Um, uh, UFT and we are hitting on uh, record button and we will proceed with recording our steps. So recording is straightforward and simple in um, UFT as with anyone who does not understand um, uh, coding can uh, still be able to do this. Um, you, you, you go through all the screens and all the fields the way you do it uh, while you are testing and it continues to record in the background. Let, we, we don't need to worry about um, the details um, and UFT is taken care of in the background. So we are entering the basic data required for creating a sales order. Uh, you know, we gave sold to party, shipped to party, PO number, and then we have given a material ID. So all this information is provided and with this we are done with creating the script. So this this is the step for um, uh, create sales order. So I I can now I can use this as a reusable script across multiple test cases. So if you come back and see in um, UFT, it's a standard uh, script which will be recorded by UFT, um, and this is where um, uh, the recording part ends, and we will move back to uh, Effect again. So once you save it, um, that's where Effect kicks in, and uh, <coughs> imports all the uh, script and while importing what it does is it splits the complete script into metadata. So it it, uh, it understands what screens we navigated through, it understands what fields did we work upon, what data we use. So all that is uh, segregated and uh, um, uh, you know extracted from the script and will be shown to the user in the form of a simple spreadsheet. So it's very easy to understand uh, for even a person without uh, any automation knowledge. He can see the steps and understand what's happening here. And now um, in case at this point you think that there is a there is a change which needs to be done. Uh, if you want to either either add a step or if you want to delete a step or you want to make some modification to data, all that can be done here itself. No need to go back to UFT, no need to go back to recording. All the information is here and Effecta can uh, capture the changes and save the changes dynamically in the screen itself. So once we are satisfied with all the steps and we think it's 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 good, the next step is to generate test case. So generate script. So generate script, what it does is it uh, um, it creates the uh, script which is UFT compatible and stores it in uh, Effecta. Now the script is ready to use and can be used by any test case. So let's see how you can um, attach a script to a given test case. So uh, for the quick navigation, we have created a test case. We are choosing an existing test case. So test case is again a simple entity. Um, it's a, just a placeholder where we create the name of the test case and uh, provide the basic information. And you are and you can attach the test script to this test case. So you can see the last column says test script. So this is where you attach the test script 
and save now. So, so once you do this, um, you, you, your test case is ready for execution. Typically, uh, a test case will not have one step. It will have multiple steps. So what we might do is we might end up creating multiple scripts. Um, you know the way I'm showing it in the current uh, test case. This is a test case which we created for our demo. Um, and this is an end to end um, OTC flow um, order to cash flow, and it has four different steps. And the first step is create sales order, which is exactly same as uh, uh, ex exactly similar to what we just recorded. So that's the first step. And there are three more steps, and we also have three more scripts which we created and attached to this test case. So now uh, we can straight away go and execute this test case. But before that, what I want to do is I want to show you how we handle test data here. So let's look at the test case and get into the test data. As I said, when we uh, extract the metadata out of the script, um, the tool also creates a data set uh, based, on, uh, you know, based on the data which is extracted uh, from the um, from the script. So you can see this is where the data is, and I can go and make uh, required changes here itself. So uh, and and uh, there are two ways you can do that. Uh, one is either you'd go ahead and do a hard coded change. Uh, you can directly ch change uh, any of the data here, like material number or any other uh, order quantity or anything you want to change, and save it and execute your script. Or we also have an advanced option to manage your test data properly. So that is called data mining engine, and that can be used in conjunction with Effecta to ensure your data is always up to date. So let's look at uh, data mining engine, which is um, an entity uh, and an, an independent uh, utility which can be used by either uh, manual testers or automation engineers um, to extract or to get the required data for uh, test execution. When I say execution, it can be manual execution or automated. Um, and typically, if you look at the way we uh, work with automation scripts is, uh, you know, we go ahead and uh, execute the script. If it fails, we understand, we analyze, and we if we know that uh, the failure is because of, uh, uh, the failure is because of uh, uh, the data, then we, uh, then we go ahead and modify the data. So instead of going through all the hassles, what DME does is, Instead of capturing data, it captures data criteria, not the actual data, but the data criteria. Um, and if you can see from the screen, um, there are multiple steps to do that. So first is we create relations, then we select the list of uh, items we want to configure, then create the list, create the value, and then it creates a query based on all the steps we uh, configured in the previous uh, uh, steps. And then finally, uh, we go and map uh, map these uh, data to our test data set in Effecta. So here you can see this is completely integrated with Effecta and the project, application, and test case. All these are the entities which are directly fetched from Effecta database. So this is completely integrated and works perfectly in conjunction with um, uh, with um, Effecta tool. And uh, uh, so once you create the required, uh, you know, um, uh, you select the required query. So here we have already configured certain data which can be um, uh, used as part of our today's demo. So we have selected the data and then um, if we want to make any changes, we can make any changes and move to the next step. So once we get into the next step here, um, we the list of tables which are involved um, in this um, scenario are shown and the column fields are columns as well. Um, user can select whatever uh, columns are required for the current criteria. So once it is selected, next, next is um, uh, to select the criteria list. So we will set what is the criteria based on which we are going to extract the information or the items which you have selected in the previous list and go to the next step and now we give a value to the criteria so uh, so the once it is given then in the next step what uh, dme does is 
based on all the parameters you have entered till now, it automatically generates a query uh, which contains the data criteria, the condition for the data criteria and uh, which, which can be used to extra extract right data at the time of execution. So now we'll test this query to see if uh, this query is working fine or not and see what kind of data it is fetching. And once we validate that this is working correctly, uh, then we are good. We'll move to the next step and do a mapping between this data to the fields in the effecta data set. So this is the screen where you will select the field and map it to um, the um, key, uh, you know, the effecta uh, data set. So once this is done, now we have all the criteria ready, all the criteria set. Um, now we can start using it for um, generating or updating our um, test data. So let's look at. Um, so again, um, this tool uh, will not just go ahead every time and uh, update your test data, but it is intelligent enough to, to first analyze the existing data in the test data set. So for that, we use uh, certification. So what certification does is it connects to the current uh, data set. It, it gets the values from the current data set and applies the criteria which we have just created and validates if the current data is matching the criteria or not. So if it is not matching, it is failed. If it is matching, it is passed. So if it is matching and passed, what this uh, will do is it will go ahead and directly move on to execution. But if it fails, what it means is your current data is not matching the criteria and your tested test automation script will fail definitely because your data is not in line with the required conditions. So now what we are trying to do is now we are going ahead and getting the information which uh, can be used to replace the existing data. So we are selecting uh, this and going ahead with uh, an option called update, which will go and update the test data set in effecta now. So this step would have updated the data in the um, uh, data uh, effector data set and that can be validated by executing the certification again. So I just say certify and you can see now it is passed. Let's let's uh, go back to effector and see what data do we see now. So let's refresh the screen. And uh, go back to the test data set and if you look at the item material code is now changed. It was 246 before and now it is 262. So this is how um, a DME will help us uh, update the test data automatically. And uh, for this demo, we are going through each and every step uh, and, and showcasing you the capability. But in the real time, all this happens automatically. So it does uh, run the certification first. If data fails, then it will go and update the data and then it will automatically start your test case execution. So everything happens uh, seamlessly in an automated way. So let's now execute the test case with the new data and see how uh, the execution goes on. So this is the wrapper uh, script, which is initializing all the required, um, uh, um, you know, all the required configurations for execution. And once it is done, it started with the sales order creation. And once the sales order creation is complete, we will move on to delivery. And once the delivery is complete, we will we will move to outbound. And then billing. And finally, create the billing document. So with that, the complete execution of OTC is complete. So once the execution is complete, you will get a unique uh, execution ID and using that you should be able to go back and look at your reports. So 
uh, we saw that we had four steps in this test case and we have associated four scripts. So you can see um, at the step level, it is showing the status as pass. And then if you want to get into further details, it will get into uh, further details and show you um, all the details of each and every um, action it has performed on the application along with, um, with the status, whether pass it is pass or fail. You can also see the material ID here um, is, is used based on the updated data set. So this is how um, your results would be uh, shown. And this is how you will be using Effecta and um, inbuilt Effecta accelerators uh, for automating uh, a test case uh, for SAP. So let's uh, move on to the next item um, for today's uh, webinar which is uh, impact analysis. So uh, impact analysis is one of the very important or key criteria for um, for any testing. And um, so impact analysis is uh, key for understanding and ensuring that we we get good uh, test case uh, test coverage for the changes which are coming in. So impact analysis can be done uh, in multiple ways in um, uh, effect. Again, we are doing impact analysis for an SAP application and we are using um, either we can use a transport number or date range or a combination of both to get all the objects which are impacted with these transports. So we have selected the application on which we want to do impact analysis and then we click on get test cases. So what this does is it connects to um, an SAP component of Effecta, so which is uh, built in uh, SAP and it, it, it is um, deployed within the SAP uh, instance itself. It connects to it, gets all the uh, information related to the impact, impacted objects for uh, the transports which we have selected and uses that um, impacted objects uh, and search for the test cases which are associated with these impacted objects. So you can see three sections here. One is all the list of impacted objects. The next section is the impacted objects which has already test cases assigned or mapped to them. And then there is another section which is uh, impacted objects list which doesn't have any test cases. So what this is primarily doing for us is it is telling us that OK, so many objects are impacted and you have test cases for these objects and you don't have test cases for these objects. So this brings us an opportunity to update our uh, test case repository for with the missing test cases, associate them with the uh, objects and we should be able to get uh, adequate coverage for the changes which are getting uh, imported into effect, uh, sorry, into SAP by these transports. So this is how um, you can create, um, uh, you can do impact analysis and there is a one click uh, option here to create test set directly uh, for the impacted test cases. So by clicking this, you have created uh, a test set which will combine all these test cases which are uh, impacted due to changes coming in. So this is how you can use um, Effecta to uh, test SAP applications effectively. So this is about uh, the today's webinar and now we are open for uh, Q&A.